All right, so we're here with our Flex Drive 3D system, our Flex Drive E system. We're going to talk about installation, we're going to talk about props, talk about batteries. All right, so standard on your Flex Drive 3D system comes with a 10 inch pitch prop. All right, now this is really optimized for pedaling and for use with a deep cycle 12 volt battery. Uh, in the case of our lithium ions, we'll be using the five inch pitch prop, which is optimized for use with our lithium ion batteries. Now, the difference between pitches, we say five inch pitch, what we mean is every revolution is moving five inches in the water. Every revolution is moving 10 inches in the water for this prop. So for the purpose of this installation today, we're gonna to be using our lithium ion batteries. They have two choices when it comes to the lithium ion battery. We have our 24 volt, 22 amp hour battery and our 24 volt 9.6 amp hour battery. Difference between the two, obviously the larger is gonna give you more time out on the water. Now with each one of the lithium ion batteries, you get this handy bag here that works as a flotation device in case the battery might drop in the water. Each kit will come with hardware for the installation of the five inch pitch prop. That includes the prop cap, Allen wrench, bolt, and shear pin. So let's install our prop in our FlexDrive 3D system. On the FlexDrive 3D system, comes standard with a 10 inch pitch prop. Since we're utilizing the 24 volt battery, we're gonna need to install the five inch pitch prop. So let's do that. Let's do this. <laughs> so using your Allen wrench, untighten the bolt. Put that to the side. Now, when you're removing the 10 inch prop, make sure that you mine the shear pin so it doesn't fall off and get free from you. You also notice when you pull the prop up, there'll be a sleeve in place. It's very important that you keep that as well. All right, so we removed the 10 inch pitch prop. Now let's install our five inch. So while keeping the shear pin horizontal, slide the prop down, make a good connection there. Utilizing the cap, place that over the end of your prop. Got your bolt here. Install that and tighten down with your Allen wrench. All right, so let's uh, let's move on to our Flex Drive E installation. First thing you want to do is retract the prop by pulling the lever down. Loosen up your T-bolt screws. Put those to a side. Remove your pedal drive system. And the Flex Drive E system works just like your pedal system. You want to make sure that you got everything lined up as far as the coupling is concerned. Place that down to where you get a good fit. Reconnect your T-bolts. It's important to attach the key to the flex drive lever. This acts as a kill switch for the system when the prop faces an obstacle in the water, some sort of type of debris. When it retracts back up, it's gonna dislodge the key from the flex drive system. All right, so we have our battery cable here for the lithium ion battery. Lining up the arrows on the cable, pressing those firmly together, and it locks in place. Make sure that you pull the cable to make sure that it doesn't detach. All right, so lining up our colors, red on red, black on black. Tighten down the bolts and lock washers. Make sure you got a good connection. So after we've installed our cable to our battery, let's go ahead and turn the system on. First, we want to deploy our prop and connect our key. Once you insert the key, wait about three seconds and then turn the motor on. Turning the knob clockwise will give you your speed between one and five and then turning counterclockwise will give you your reverse. And that concludes the operation of the Flex Drive E system. If you have any other questions or need further direction, go to jacksonadventures.com.